Hello, April Fools on April 1st, 2016. And I'm here in um, Rang Siklong 2, Bangkok, Thailand, with Hip Like You, our top contributor. You know, at NPM Project at the home of Nakarat. Uh, we are been studying over some modules, especially uh, manufacturing Thai loca localization. And at the same time, I'm completing the first part of the sales lead management or CRM, which was first pioneered by Edexa in the Edempia project. And you can follow it from this form here. So um, this was some time ago, and uh, now with the sponsorship of uh, Sysnova, I am looking at uh, whatever is there, and I have managed to uh, pack in um, his work. Uh, but I do not like that the changes are made to the core, particularly here is this year's order. So I am proposing an entirely new change and uh, I spent uh, the last one week, two weeks or so onto it and now I'm ready to show it in action. So first you download the um, SalesLeak CRM from uh, Redwan at sourceforge.net slash project source for read one and you go to the sales CRM under the files and here you have the written to give you a guide which basically is only one instruction which is to download the uh, CRM of sales login and then install it onto your OSGI stack of item here and then when it's run, it is all set. Nothing further to do. It's self-installing. And uh, once you lock it, you can go straight to your garden admin. Um, some of the setup data is done at the system level, so any client that you define will be able to enjoy the same uh, CRM capabilities. Um, well, as all sales CRM will do is they would like to have a tracker email base or a ticket uh, to track uh, if there's activity and where your salesman can follow. And I've made a CRM uh, ticket uh, automatically set to sales lead beside other tickets. So when you click on this uh, calendar, you can then uh, open this up and pass on uh, some information, uh, let me uh, explain to you that you can use shortcut information for example in this case, let me copy and paste, so you can put a C which stands for your customer equals to the name, comma, K is the key or the search value you want your customer to be search. So it's a red one and T is the telephone number. A is the first address, A2 is the second address, and E is the email. There are other more values, and you can follow in the forum to, to see how I add in uh, many important or common values that you want. And after putting a OK this, you automatically create um, a, a, a request record under the leads. Mm, uh, window, okay, and also create a business panel record. The lead is the user record, so everything is set for you. The location, which is fantastic because you can open it on and actually go to the map right away, okay, is that powerful. So, and, and it's all attached there, and then you can continue to do your other activities which you will find under the sales management menu and then you can uh, do marketing campaign or send email blasts and so forth and this will be my second part of my module before this first part I'll just show you that after you continue create this and then try to manage uh, activity right. and, uh, you have activity types such as uh, mail, having a meeting, uh, phone call and pass and so forth. 
We'll deal with that in a later part, but for a start, um, when finally this uh, lead, um, which is set at new, becomes converted, the system will automatically create and convert this into an opportunity. So that when you go to the opportunity window, you see that this has been created and you're ready. You should have uh, made your first sale to it. And he has given you an expected close date uh, to the next month, first May here. You could change this date if you want. All right, to say, okay, if you, I wanted to make sure that close is earlier, so forth. And the initial probability is here and at the sales stage, and with an amount set to a minimal $1. But you can then go to saying that, hey, I'm already in a needs analysis and they'll put your probability higher at 30% and so forth and you can have a weighted amount, blah, 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 things like that. And that's not all, uh, the dashboard will now have the converted entering into the data. So the dashboard now has recorded the first um, opportunity here and as you progress, more and more will be recorded and uh, you will get these others populated, which I will uh, hopefully in a week or two, even work out the, um, like I say, the um, marketing campaign and the template. And we have a mail process and we can have uh, email blasts and figure out how to let the uh, users or leads uh, subscribe to your online uh, mails and so forth. Let's take a look at the uh, email template. So we could define um, a mail blast here and begin to put in some text. And then as you send it out, it will be recorded here. So basically what I'm doing is trying to bring it all together and uh, make triggers uh, like what I showed between the ticket to the lead and converting to opportunity so that the work of your salesman will be less redundant and the focus on the sales field. Okay, now that's it from me here. And uh, last thing or so, I've made things um, color-coded so that you could uh, differentiate between uh, your other tickets and your sales leads, which is in green. Yeah, you could... Um, uh, send an email or come to my forum or just stick to the uh, Google group. Let me get to the Google group. Okay, where I have a thread there that talks about this the CRM. Uh, I will link to it. And uh, I'll put it up here and you can follow through. All right. That's it then. Have a nice day from Thailand and uh, happy April Fool's Day. Bye bye.